Apple is about to show off new iPads in just a few days on May 7th, but it looks like there are some surprises in store that may really shake up the sleepy tablet category for the first time in several years. There are some wild card factors. There's talk of an Apple Pencil that does new tricks, a new Magic Keyboard, and the iPad could even have a more powerful chip than the MacBooks because of AI, of course. Regardless of buzzwords and rumors of new accessories, even Apple is saying in social media posts that this is going to be a different kind of Apple event. Let's go over what we expect at Apple's iPad announcement and what could be the biggest surprises. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is One More Thing. It's no secret that Apple has a chaotic iPad product lineup with six different models and three different pencils, and not every pencil works or even charges the same on every iPad. It looks like Apple will show two new improved iPad Pros with OLED screens. Now, these would be the first iPads with OLED. We are also expecting new iPad Airs that come in two sizes. This event is teased with the words lit loose. We see the Apple Pencil creating the Apple logo in different art styles. The stream is starting at a new time. It's earlier in the morning on Tuesday at 7 a.m. Pacific and 10 a.m. Eastern. Clearly, the Pencil is a big focus in the teaser image and what it can do with the new iPads. But what if the pencil is the biggest news of the event? Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reports we could see a pencil with haptic feedback. So you could tell when you're pressing a button or perhaps get some satisfying feelings and vibrations that change depending on the type of pen or brush that you're imitating. There was some banter last year that maybe Apple was working on interchangeable magnetic tips that help emulate different drawing styles. And that came from a post on Twitter. But what if you didn't need to change the tips and just the haptic feedback is what made it feel like you had different tips for different brushes and pens. The pencil is an interesting accessory to examine. We don't yet have a feature-rich USB-C model of the stylus that works with magnetic wireless charging. There was this cheaper model last year with USB-C. It lacked a few bells and whistles. It had no pressure sensitivity, no double tap, but let's take it further. What if lit loose in the teaser meant the pencil is lit loose from the iPad? Could it be free to be used with other products? Could Apple use the pencil for Vision Pro inputs? How can you be an artist on the Vision Pro without using the Apple Pencil? Or will Apple just show us how iPads work with Vision Pro as a creator tool? Right now, you can sync the headset up with a Mac, but there's no way to interact with your iPad in the virtual space. And if the iPad is a powerful work tool that can replace a MacBook, then why not have Apple go all in with making the iPad something you can use with the headset? There is talk about the Magic Keyboard getting a refresh, perhaps making the iPad even more like a laptop. This report also comes from Bloomberg, where the Magic Keyboard is said to have a larger trackpad. And you may want the iPad and keyboard to feel more like a laptop because it said the iPad Pro could get a not yet announced M4 chip, possibly skipping over the M3 completely. You know, the M3 chip that came out just six months ago? Bloomberg's German reported it is a quote, strong possibility that the Pro could get an M4 chip. It really feels like a wild thing to predict until you think about the whole hunger right now in Wall Street for AI and the rumored M4 chip would be designed to boost performance for AI tasks. And German is saying Apple could market the iPad Pro as an AI powered device. If Apple did that, it means at WWDC, which is just a month away, Apple can spend more time talking about all the great generative AI software in the operating systems, get the hardware out of the way now, save the software for next month. I also find it interesting that this iPad event will be one week before Google I.O., where AI would be another big focus point for Google and its products. So will Apple want to also throw out some AI buzz before Google? 9to5Mac did some reporting a few weeks ago that could support this idea. Inside the iPad OS 17.5 beta files, there were references to four unreleased iPad models with code names that might hint that there's an iPad with something even more advanced than an M3 chip. 
Apple's iPad event on Tuesday morning is earlier than usual, so be sure to set your alarm. But hopefully you won't miss that alarm if you have a new iPhone. You see, there's been a lot of talk this week about how the iPhone sometimes will not play your alarm sound. NBC first reported the issue after several people were complaining about this problem on TikTok. They were saying their alarms were not making sounds. And you know what? I've definitely noticed this happening to me a few times where I don't know why the volume was super quiet in the morning for my wake up alarm. It turns out it has something to do with a setting called attention aware. If the iPhone senses a face looking at the screen, it's going to lower the volume of the alarm sound. Now I have terrible sleep habits. I have young kids, but even if I was half asleep and I took a glance at my iPhone in the morning, I still want my alarm to blare. If you have trouble, you can toggle this off under face ID and passcode, turn off attention aware. Apple told NBC news that they are working on a fix for the issue. I would just like Apple to not assume what I want in my alarms. Apple has not shown off a new iPad since the fall of 2022. So I'm going to be wide eyed to see what comes after all this time. And please tell me in the comments what you're hoping for. Be sure to log on to CNET's YouTube live stream on Tuesday morning around 930 Eastern. I'm going to be on with Lexi Savides. We're doing our pre-show and we are doing live commentary during the iPad presentation too. So it's going to be our raw real time reactions. We're going to be having polls, interacting with the chat room, and I hope to see you then.